Good morning. Uh, so back to Snippet Mixy, um, and I can't remember where we were at. I think I we finished off delete uh, in the GUI. It's deleting snippets. So now I don't think I've got any to do's that are immediate. That's all CLI stuff. Okay. That's fine. That's all just bits of cleanup to do later on. So, uh, what we have left in the GUI, uh, we have to do an about screen, which is, you know, maybe, maybe we'll do that. Um, a setting screen um, with an import and an export. So, um, I guess the import is probably the most important to get started with. Um, as we already have export on the command line and then and that can be used on both the welcome screen and settings and then we can follow that up with an export and then we can start filling out the other settings so yeah Let's do that. So let's do a import feature. Um, okay. Now, where am I? Because I've rebooted a couple of times. So, yeah. Um, actually, I've come down here. It's been a little while since I've done a proper clean up. So, make clean all. Let's make sure everything's clean here. Do a big meek. That might take a little minute. a bunch of um, upgrades yesterday um, so things have changed okay so I think that's okay uh, let's just do a quick make test okay looking good right so clear up these um I'll bring up the daemon or shall I? Yeah. So that's the daemon up and running. Um and what I'll do so I'll just do an export here. It says, yeah, doing here. Um, Just do that. So we've got that file there. Just move that into my downloads. Okay. Um, and then 
will work on the import. So what I'm going to do is the first thing I'm going to do is break everything by removing that database. I could just take the whole lot, okay? So now when I bring up Wales, I'll just do it in Wales dev mode. So I'll have to do a bit more compiling. Well, that's not what I expected. Did not expect, could not connect to snippet Pixie D, Damon. Why? Ah. Oh. That's interesting because it's not having a problem. I think I have a bug. Let's go investigate that. So normally, if it is actually having a problem connecting to the daemon, you'll see uh, problems with the ping being locked. In, but we're not getting anything. So let's just double check this didn't fail. Now everything was good there. Okay. Let's go have a look. Uh, let's take that and put it on with my ID. Okay, so hmm. Let's look at the main screen. Okay, so we expect the welcome screen here if the connection isn't working. Hmm. Well, that should be okay. something funny going on here. I'm going to take that back to uh, here. And then I'm just going to actually kill the daemon. Yeah, so that's the ping now. If I bring up the daemon again. Okay. must be related to not having any snippets. And I can't add any because the goo is not letting me. No snippets found.
So that should be okay, but it's not. That's where the problem is at the moment. For why, I mean, we should have an icon there. So the connection is definitely bad. So what's going on? Interesting. got if we're not getting this we know this is working because we're getting the interval that's the only place we do it Right. Okay. So it's an initial state problem. Okay. Right. Um, let me try this. If I kill it off again. It's not switching. Why is it not switching? Now it is. Hmm. Okay. Some I'm missing some sort of state change there. It's not picking it up. So that means I'm not doing like an active reactive check somewhere, I'm missing something somewhere. Welcome screen. It's not switching back. That's just plain weird. Okay, now I'm definitely missing something there. So what is that then?
so this is in screen and every five seconds we're checking on amount we do an initial check and then we start checking every five seconds And all we're doing is updating the connection. If we get a result, we set it to true. If it's the correct one, otherwise we set it to false. Any kind of error, we set it to false. So that should be OK. Connection, OK, should be set to false on startup, which is fine. Hmm. Okay. Okay, let's check the browser. Okay, well, it's doing the same thing. Unfortunately, now I'm going to refresh it. <clears throat> oh, it's done the same, that's good. So we're not in there. Um, let's so it's definitely got connection false. It's not some artifact or some test. Ah, oh, connection's okay there. Not on the welcome screen. Well, that's weird. That's a store. It shouldn't be different. So unless I somehow duplicated the variable, masked it maybe. So it's all the way it won't go any higher, I guess, so.
That is so strange. Okay. So where's that then? Right, so we come in. Main screen. Is recognizing it's okay. But because of the snippets not having any length, it's showing the welcome screen. Which is correct. And then in the welcome screen, it's somehow changed surely it's not this I know I was a bit dodgy but I wasn't sure whether that was a good idea or not. Let's try that. put them there. Connection OK. Connection not okay. Very strange. Okay. Let's uh, double check. Well, one thing that's now consistent.
Oh, it says. Why is that one failing still? Strange. Okay. All right. So that's in theory okay. If the connection changes, let's double check the snippets. Yeah, it's just an empty array to start with. So now we are, in theory, doing the welcome screen. Okay. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the update properly here instead of just updating the uh, the value because Something is funky here. So let's try that. So uh, what we'll do is connection update. comes in as okay and we're just going to return true here we're going to return false and then same again here Okay, reload. Hopefully it's not an artifact of me using the debugger as such. Let's try again. No, it's definitely doing the wrong thing. Somewhere. I'm picking up the wrong value at the beginning.
Main screen, true. Hold on, what's the other thing there? Snippets, now. Okay. And now we're done. I should have looked at this, shouldn't I? So, with the snippets being null, it won't have any length. So, that's an invalid test. And I'm going to be getting weirdness on that if statement. And that's probably the whole reason. So, in here, in the fetch, Okay, before I'm, I was about to go and just clean up the back end stuff so it returns an empty array, but before I do, I do that, I should. Well, let me double check what's going on there. Mm. Okay. Okay, it's not perfect. Um. Yeah, see the thing here. Right, okay. This will be returning an error, in theory. Just 
just a not found error. Because I'm not doing this. Which that's not right. I should I should return just nil nil. So am I doing that on all these things? Get expanded. Does the get abbreviation? And checks for nil snippet. Get snippets I need. To do like I'm doing with get abbreviation. And return early with nil nil. If I don't have anything. And then same there, really. That should be nil now. So when I'm doing a get snippets ending with abbreviation, it should be okay to say, right, there's no error. But I didn't find anything. Get snippet with abbreviation we know is good. Get snippet with ID. We've already got the nil nil check. Um Okay, so update snippet. Okay, that's just doing what it can. And the ID is the same. Expand snippet. We might have some issues there. We'll have to come back to that if we need to. Okay, that's fine. Why are you showing me this? Is that new? Or maybe I didn't have, hold on. Oh yeah, I didn't have it selected. Okay. Right. So. We now have, in theory, I'll have to recompile in a minute, but get snippets here. It's going to return nil. Hmm. 
slightly different with the get snippet with abbreviation because we check for a nil snippet which isn't great actually Doing it there as well. Get snippet with ID. Hmm, I have to think about whether that's a good idea or not because. Anyway, that's a different different problem. Get snippets here. Don't know if that's going to work. I'm not, we'll see in a second actually when I recompile. But it's not going to find anything in that range, and that could be problematic because it's nil. So I might have to bail out before we do this. Potentially with the empty array, which might work better than what we've got at the moment. Let's see. Um, so I'm going to kill whales dev, kill this. I'm going to do a full on make because the internal package has changed. Browse dev here now. Right, so we've still got the same problem there. Yeah. So Let's do this. So we're going to mirror what we're doing here. In the get snippets with abbreviation, instead of returning nil, we're returning an empty record set. There, uh, well, struct. Um, I'm going to do in here, instead of basically returning nil, it's funny we don't get any errors. Anyway, uh, I'm going to give snippets equal new. I'm going to return just the debug snippets and new. So it's basically saying nothing found, empty set. Kill that off. Kill that off. Make again. Just 
just daemon change there. Okay, so in theory, the daemon's going to return an empty array now. Okay, we still have the same problem here. I might just need to handle it better. Right, good. So we're not getting the error now. Oh, he says. That was late though, wasn't it? Snippets is not again. Okay. I'm rapidly running out of time again, so Okay, I'm not checking whether I can do the fetch. Hmm. Now I could do it in two ways. I could check in here or just not do the fetch. feel like I should do it at this low level here where we're checking the connection. So, if not, get connection OK. You have to use a get here. Um, well, I think you have to use a get here. I'll have to import that in a sec. Because uh, you can't, in JavaScript, you can't directly reference um, the value of a store. You have to use the get. Uh, just return here, I guess. And I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make these more obvious that they're not using the value value. They're using a private version of that. 
Okay. Do that while we're at it. Where did I here? Just gonna make them more obvious. Okay, so in theory, we're not going to go and do a fetch of snippets if we don't have a connection. So that means the snippets just stay as is and don't change until a connection comes back and then we'll go off and get them. Same for a search. Nope, it says. I haven't done that. And I need to pack up in a second. Okay. Oh, look. Let's refresh this then. Hey, okay. Right, we've still got two console errors though. Okay. Bells and whistles then. Try that. Refresh. That's better. And then over here, right, let's just kill this off for a second. Let's check it right from the word go. Great. If I reload it, which is not something you would ever do, it still works. That's good. Give another reload just because of the weirdness we saw. Do it again. Okay. Kill the daemon. One, two, three, gone. Bring it back up and go. Right, well, fix the bug in theory. I uh, didn't get anywhere near doing an import, <laughs> but I've just fixed a bug with um, initial detection there. So if I kill it off and I kill the daemon, so this is like it's all gone wrong. For whatever reason, Damon hasn't come up first or something. 
Yeah, we still get the no connection found, basically. And then we go fix it. It switches in. Good, 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 good. Right. Okay. Well, that was uh, not what I expected to be doing today. But we fixed a bug. I just need to remember this stuff here. It's quite important, although it's not really doing the job that I expected. Hmm. Somewhere I'm still getting a null. Anyway, uh, let's quickly save this off. Uh, fix. Um, handling. Connection status when no snippets found. So I'll do. Yeah, I do. Okay. Well, time to go. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, until next time, take care. Bye.